and welcome back to another episode of All of Fabric 5. Where today, I have to trade with this wandering villager before he despawns. <laughs> uh, he is selling something that looks pretty difficult to get. Uh, come back, come back. Uh, Ultra Vector Plates. Now, I tried looking for a recipe for these, and it just brings up the tag crafting thing, so... I don't know that you can actually craft these. But we just got four of them. Obtain the mysterious Ultra Vector Plate. Yeah, I couldn't see a recipe for crafting them, it just brings up the tag thing, which lags a lot. Uh, and I don't know how fast this is. Oh! <laughs> No! Oh, why would it... Why would it start raining? That is really, really fast. That is very, very fast. That's kind of cool. It almost seems too fast. But, if we ever decide we want to build an actual mob farm, uh, something we can work with. Uh, I don't think we can buy any more from them. But yes, uh, in between episodes, I have not really tidied up the factory. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm sure it's. I'm sure that's useful. I'm sure that's useful. And hey, we could use some dye. But yes. Uh, actually, let's come back when it stops raining. But yeah, I've I filled in the bottom, but it's really not not tidy underneath. So yes, in between episodes, uh, a little bit of tidying up. Um, you can see we got some chests over here. Um, we've tidied up a bit underground. Not completely, and it's still pretty rough. Uh, it's actually really dark down here. I've got that... I don't think I showed it on camera because I think the episode was running a bit long, but uh, when we're getting our enchants we got perception on our helm, so this is actually how dark it is down here. But uh, pretty much night vision, which is cool. And allows entities to be seen through walls within 16 blocks. I haven't actually noticed that effect yet. But, in terms of what we're doing today, well there was one thing I ended up cutting out of the last video, and that was we actually did get to the point where we have annealed copper. Now that was one of the, one of the final things uh, we kind of needed getting towards the circuit board I believe, so we've got this recipe here. I think this was an assembler recipe, so we'll, we'll look at doing this today I think. Annealed copper. We have 43 annealed copper. And those are hot ingots as well, so those aren't the fully processed one. And we've got a thousand annealed copper. I bulk crafted a bunch of this. Uh, do we even look into what it's used for? I swear it's used. Electronic circuit boards? What were we making? What were we making annealed copper? Uh, something. <laughs> Something needs a nailed copper. Yeah, these advanced motors. Cool. Well, and we still need to get that neodymium, or did we? We might already be getting that. No, we're not getting neodymium. So that must be something we're looking at today, which is the mosaite dust. Right, right. Cool. Cool. I think we actually. I got some crushed dust and two mosaite dust. All right. Let's chuck this in here. We'll get that processed and we're definitely just going to want to extract this dust and put it in the system. And that'll be cool. So it's already finished. It's finished up. We need to extract this uranium dust as well. Yeah, just getting uh, a bunch of ores processing. Uh, I kind of want to move this. It's kind of pretty ugly having this here, but it will do for now. It will do for now. So there's our mosaite dust, and we want to centrifuge it, and we want nine. Cool. We'll plonk this over in our centrifuges. That's an electrolyzer. That's an electrolyzer. This is a centrifuge. We've got a little bit of iron in there. Neat. Wait, is it actually running? That is incredibly slow. Wow. Huh. I mean, it processes nine at a time, so not a huge deal. Cool. 
Uh, and I want to chuck these hot annealed copper ingots into our vacuum freezer. Neat. Neat. Uh, let's let's have a bit of a refresher on where we're heading. We got some quests for the 64k storage cell. Got a white fox plushie. Interesting. And the agricultural reward. I think this was from a quest reward. A Mark III cobblestone generator. That's uh, better than this one, I assume. It's pretty quick. Well, we've got plenty of cobblestone. Um, actually, no, I'm going to break that. So if I don't, he's going to put cobblestone everywhere. And a white flock, a fox plushie. Okay, not there. You go there. Cool. Eventually we'll have a house again. One day. One day. But if we swing back over to modern industrialization. MV, the oil drilling rig. That's right. It's bringing back memories. I think we do want to get into the oil drilling rig. I think we do because we needed... Hang on. Can we craft... If we try and craft a stainless steel drill... Stainless steel drill. We are missing neodymium, which is getting processed at the moment. And a digital circuit board. Now, have I just not taught the recipe for that? Digital circuit board. Oh, that's here. And the digital circuit board was an assembler with polyethylene. Cool. All right. So we kind of know neodymium. Ne Whatever that green stuff was. Let's focus on polyethylene. We needed a chemical reactor. Okay. All right, I might just have a quick look through these and see what's the best way to go. Well, that was a short bunch of looking through. Uh, so, ah, okay, right. If we had a distillation tower, we'd get light fuel and heavy fuel. So we're gonna be starting with the distillery. Distillery is gonna turn crude oil into sulfuric naphtha. And then steam crack naphtha was naphtha. And naphtha is sulfuric naphtha and hydrogen. Hydrogen is iron dust, steam, and oh dear. Or uh, this might be better. Because this looks more advanced, doesn't it? Styrene. So many things. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of chemical reactors by the look of it. But if we're going this route, we would need ethanol. And ethanol is a chemical reactor of ethylene. Wait, don't we already need ethylene? Which is, wait, I feel like we're going around in a circle here. Light fuel, the steam correct. Heavy fuel, heavy fuel. Sulfuric heavy fuel. Sulfuric heavy fuel is distillery. Okay. <laughs> All right. I need to work out the um, the order in which we do this. We definitely need a distillery though. Um, let's, let's teach the recipe for that because that's certainly something we need. Um, and I suspect a couple of chemical reactors just looking at that. Uh, a distillery. Yeah, we can craft that too. Cool. It's a lot of... 578 copper wires. Wow. Oh, and 40 silicon. That's really slow. Okay, let's start that. <laughs> that's going to take a while. Yeah, we really need to do something about the silicon processing. That's pretty slow. We've got, we've got a whole bunch of <laughs> silicon to process. I guess it's going to get faster as the efficiency uh, increases. But... Uh, with all this talk of, uh, I kind of figured out the the progression of fluids. So we get crude oil. We combine that with hydrogen, which we can get from water. Um, that gives us sulfuric naphtha. We distill that. We chemical reactor that with hydrogen, which we're already getting here. Okay, I might have things around the wrong way. Uh, and that gets us the naphtha, and then we can... Chuck steam in it with another chemical reactor, and then we can uh, distill that naphtha into ethylene, and then we can turn that into polyethylene. 
which is cool. But this requires one thing that we don't have yet, which is crude oil. Uh, so we need to get ourselves this oil drilling rig, um, which is also a quest, and is going to use these aluminum drills. I don't think these will be too hard. I think once we teach these recipes, um, I think this is going to be okay. I don't think we've taught. No, we haven't taught that. I think this is the only... Oh. I think that is the only part we don't know. I should have taught all this other stuff. Uh, we want this oil drilling rig. And in terms of other things required, the rest of this looks pretty normal. Yeah. And a whole bunch of chains. Interesting. This must be quite a large... A large thing, the oil drilling rig. It would be cool to actually set this up like an offshore oil drilling rig. Uh, but I've got to load chunks and pipe stuff, so we'll probably set it up in the base for now. And a couple of crafts just finishing up now. Which is cool. Oh, we're crafting some aluminum drills. Uh, so I went ahead and sort of kind of crafted up a couple of other bits and pieces, and boom! We should have some of the stuff we need. So, let's have a look. We've got ourselves an oil drilling rig. Bringing freedom to your country, oof. <laughs> yep, get that reference. Uh, and then we have our steel casings, the 38 that we need. Um, we still need six of these, I just didn't want the uh, the crafting to use them up. So we'll get some of them going. We're going to need some ch chains. Uh, I don't think I auto craft that. And we needed 18. Um, sure. 18 of them. Then we're just waiting on the other casings. Two of them to go. Sucks. That was all of them, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's everything for the oil drilling rig. Nice, and we got a turbo machine casing, stainless steel plates, advanced machine hulls. We could actually craft this. I'm pretty sure we could actually craft this. We have stainless steel now, so... The forbidden chest for now. Forbidden chest for now. I'll go check it down there in a bit. Um, and then we should have some aluminum drills, which we're going to use in our oil drilling rig. That's completed that quest. Nice. We got a redstone battery. I'm pretty sure those are pretty simple to make. Uh, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Uh, now we're going to be getting into lots of other bits and pieces. So a distillery. I did craft that. Nice. Al Capone approves. Uh, and then we had the chemical reactor, and I think we're going to want a couple of these. Walter White approves. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, not going to be doing any of that. Um, and we got some praline dark chocolate, that's cool. Distillery, some sticky toffee pudding. Nice. Don't mind the food rewards. Uh, so we're getting towards our digital circuit, but there is still some other stuff. <gasps> diesel, diesel tools. Diesel jetpack. Let's set up the oil drilling rig. Um, for a start, what is this going to look like? Okay, a reasonably large structure. I might set it up. Hmm, where do we want our fuel? I mean, I, I think I'm going to get rid of this nether portal. Uh, I do have a waystone to get back to the nether, so I mean, as long as I've got one experience. That's fine. Why are there spiders on a mushroom island? There's like a spider area over there. And then we're missing this. And I think that is assembled. Uh, now we're going to be missing, um, I'm assuming this takes like steam or energy. I'm going to assume <laughs> we need an input hatch. Because uh, we need to put these drills in somehow. And I assume this runs on power. So we probably want like a... LV, LV input hatch, definitely. And a item input, item output, I think we can turn that into an item input. 
And then we're going to need a fluid. Definitely a fluid input. Let's make that a fluid output hatch. Cool. Okay. So we've got our power hooked up, which is, I mean, doesn't look great. <laughs> it doesn't look great, but it's okay. Uh, so this guy has power now. Um, we've got these tanks, and these look kind of cool. Um, we'll do this. They seem to hold about 16 buckets each. Uh, yeah, that should be sweet if we grab ourselves some fluid pipes. Um, hopefully we can connect to this. And we can sort of expand this as we get more. I just started with eight. I don't actually know how much oil we get. Uh, and then in our input hatch, we chuck in these drills. And he's away. He's away. It does overclock, so that's going to be questionable for our power. Um, we're starting to get to the point where... Oh, we've got some oil. We're starting to get to the point where power is becoming an issue, so... Uh, these kind of connect, but <laughs> it's kind of splitting, splitting all the fluid around them. I think this will look better once they're full. And hopefully we can like pipe out of this corner and then does that extract from everywhere? It might not. Uh, I might have to pipe out the bottom of the tank. That's still okay. That's still okay. All right. I probably want to pump this. Hmm. It depends where we want to set up our oil processing. Now we could, we could just do it here. This is probably the best place. I'm a little bit worried. We're going to start encroaching on areas we want for this thing. I never crafted those CPUs. I was going to do that. Nah, it's fine. Um, so I've been crafting the bits and pieces that I think we need. So. I got us another distillery. Did we get an electrolyzer or a chemical reactor? We got another chemical reactor. I think this is all the stuff we need. We're going to find out. Let's start with the electrolyzer. And you're going to need water. Which means we're going to want a water pump. But that's okay. We'll plonk you here, I guess. We'll run water through under there oh. um, so we'll get one of them set up we need another water pump we'll just do another situation like this one or this one we could run the water pipes all the way across but that seems like a little bit wasteful okay so let's I guess we'll run this like this so we probably a little bit of a waste having an electric water pump here uh, and not like we're still using like a bronze one over there and a steam one there, but a steel one rather, but that's okay. We will run this up the same way. That's going to go into here. You're going to extract water. Nice. So that's water taken care of. I should have ran the power cable. I mean, we can do that from. Well, actually, if we're going to do that, why not? Why not do this? That seems smarter. That seems smarter. Now that we can cover up the ugly hole on the floor. Cool. So we have our electrolyzer. He's making... Eventually... Uh, hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen we do kind of want, but we want it over the other side of the factory in the blast furnace, uh, which is cool. Hopefully we can filter the hydrogen. Hopefully we can filter on hydrogen. I don't know if we can. Can we set filters on these? Because it's going to extract hydrogen, but how do we stop it? Yes, that's interesting. I'm not quite sure how we're going to solve that problem. So then we want to take the crude oil, chuck it in a distillery. 
Oh, so this is a separate process, right. So, ooh, crude oil is full. Neat, that's cool, that's cool. Maybe I didn't put this quite in the right place. Let's do a chemical reactor here. We'll run the, the cables and pump some crude oil um, in there. And there goes some crude oil. Uh, yes. <laughs> not the best uh, piping I have ever done, but probably also not the worst, to be fair. To be fair. So, you're going to be getting crude oil. You have power. Should you not be working? This was supposed to be a distillery. Oh. Oh, we just wasted a little bit of oil, but not too major. We plonk this here. He's probably not going to... He's going to auto input the crude, but not the power. There we go. He's away. He's starting to make naphtha, I think. Cool. So we're getting sulfuric light fuel. Is that what we wanted? That's not what I thought we wanted. Um, and a distillery, crude oil... Oh, that's not the recipe I want. Do we not get to choose what fluid we make? All right, so we want to tell this thing to make... Uh, right, we want... Whoops. We want... Sulfuric naphtha. Cool, so that's locked the recipe. All right. Now I can reconnect that power. And now it's going to make the right stuff. So we've got a bunch of light fuel that I don't really want, but maybe that'll be useful. Can we tip this out? Or is this not a... Nah, it's not a fluid you can actually tip out. Cool, that's getting us a sulfuric naphtha. And then that wants to go into... Chemical reactor with hydrogen. All right, let's let's do that. So, uh, what's going to be the best way to do this? We want this hydrogen. Sure. Um, we really don't want. It's the oxygen we don't want to be going into this machine. I think we can lock this actually, and it should stop it. Um, if we say we're making naphtha which we are hydrogen and sulfuric naphtha that's locked cool so it shouldn't let uh, we well, shouldn't craft anything else we might still end up with oxygen in there uh, but then we'll grab um we kind of want oh scott's coming over here to grab some rubber he has a magnet Oh, and he gave us a totem of a void undying. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess we check this. I don't know what what's a charm slot. What is a charm slot? Oh, that's the charm slot there. Okay, cool, cool. He's like, yeah, he was just borrowing some rubber. Uh, very easy for me to craft rubber. Uh, but anyhow, we then want to pump this oil. Going underneath would be the best. Uh, but we can't unless we dye the fluid pipes, and I can't be bothered dyeing the fluid pipes. Let's instead... <laughs> Not great, this is horrendous. I'll change this afterwards. But we'll say sulfuric naphtha comes out. Sulfuric naphtha comes in, hydrogen comes in. Shouldn't that be... Oh, you don't have power. That's why you're not crafting. That makes sense. I will accept that reason. Um, cool. And then you should be crafting. Naphtha and sulfuric acid. To make naphtha. You need 12 buckets. Oh, you just don't have the buckets. Cool. And then, all right, so we got stuff here. That's going to get us naphtha. And then we just want another chemical reactor. Um, and we could plonk, I might plonk him here. 
just so we can always, you know, uh, chuck in a tank if we want to. And we're going to lock your recipe to steam cracked naphtha. And then we should be able to say that that's an output. That'll be an input. You're going to need some power. Um, we will go along here. Well, he's just fired up. Nice. Ah, you still need steam. Oh, steam's all the way over there. Right, I guess we're running pipes and I probably want to dye them. With like some white dye. I think we've got a bit of bone meal. Then we'll just get some flood pipes and run that. And that'll be okay. That's gonna take a bit though. Let's get let's get that many. But cool. Alright, so we're getting close. We're getting close. <laughs> not quite, not quite getting here. I think I'll leave it there though, because yeah, we'll be doing a bit. I just know when I come to edit this, it's gonna take so long to, to get it down. So we're just about to get steam cracked naphtha, and then it's just a matter of putting that in another distillery, which we already have. And yeah, we'll come back next time and we're gonna be crafting some of this. But that should be pretty cool. Uh, we got ourselves a new multi-block. Hi Dragon. We got ourselves this new multi-block. We got some more machines happening. I'm sure power issues are in our future. That should be cool. Anyway, it's been Classic Stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time for some more All the Fabric 5.